Hello and welcome back to my Raspberry Pi tutorial uh, with my robot here. So what I have is I have a Raspberry Pi connected communicating over a spy connection to this microcontroller that is underneath my robot here. I've got a couple of batteries with a 5-volt uh, regulator and then I've got my DC motors down here that are going to be communicating and over pulse width modulation to the microcontroller and then I've got this Bluetooth dongle and a Wi-Fi dongle. The Bluetooth is going to be communicating to uh, this Nintendo Wii controller. Uh, the Wi-Fi module is going to be connected to the computer, so I'm actually doing a peer-to-peer -peer connection. Uh, no router involved, and I'm logged in right now, and I'm about to run the program that I wrote. Uh, all the code is going to be on my blog. Um, so what I'm going to do is, as I click this to run, you can see I just got to go up to my Wii controller and have it paired. So right now it's going to be pairing this with this. As soon as that is done, um, we're going to get the go on the program here. It's going to say connected, spy setup, uh, press the plus button to disconnect. So what I'm going to do is as I click this a couple times, you can see that the wheels are just engaging. Not enough to really uh, pull it along the table at the moment. But if I go ahead and stick it on the ground, and click it a couple more times, a little faster, you can see that it's going to go forward. Yeah, and then as if I click left, if I click the left button a couple times, it's going to rotate, and then I can go right or left. Uh, I can go forward a little bit. I can stop it. Yeah, so this is kind of the project as it's been coming and going. Uh, you can see that uh, I've got the Bluetooth communicating here, and as I get this going a little bit, see it's going a little bit forward here. If I quickly get up to my computer here, you can see that it's going to tell me the speed of the wheels as I'm clicking it, uh, live feedback, which is pretty neat. So I've got two connections going, and then if I go ahead and stop it, I can press go a little bit, and say I come over here. Go left a little bit. Left, oh, oh, hit hit a wall. Oopsie. So, anyways, it's been a little fun little project, and I've really enjoyed kind of playing around with this. Um, as you can see on my blog at brianhensley.net, uh, all my code is there. Uh, my setup, my piece, all the pieces that were used, and just everything you need uh, to really build this yourself or learn how I did it. Maybe you can take some pieces of it and adapt it to your own project. Uh, if you have comments or questions, feel free to email me or comment on my blog post and I'll try to help you out as much as possible. Once again, uh, brianhensley.net and uh, thanks for all those that were waiting for the final product. Okay, until next time.